Hello and welcome back. If you're still confused on how to get these reference images, just scroll a bit down from my video and there will be the first link. Just click on it and on this Gumroad link in here, here you can get your reference images. Just input the price and add it to cart and then you will get the download link. Welcome back to the part three. So let's go. Shoulders, we can use the knee pads. Let's duplicate them. Sculpting and move tool. Let's move them into the shoulder position. I accidentally zoom in too much. Grab tool and move it in the position. Can smooth it. It's hard for you to get ship again, hide. And we can see the ship better. Let's move on the hide. Let's see how it's looking like. And it's looking pretty good. Now I want to do a few fixes to our torso. Let's drag it up so it meets the shoulders. And let's drag it on here so it meets our clavicle a bit better. Now, let's create another cube. Move it into the neck position. Scale it as a neck. Let's scale on the axis so it fits through the whole motion. And let's insert two loops. Let's maybe hide what we don't need. Let's scale it so the lines are close to the top ones. Go back object mode and use the subdivision shortcut. Again, five subdivisions and now we can go into the sculpting mode and get our next shape. Don't forget your front view. Now, if you work like me without the mirror, just turn on the mirror and use the symmetrize options. Let's move so the shape is a bit better. And we have quite a nice setup of the shapes. Now, let's make our elbow. You can see that they don't really need elbow. We have a pretty nice shape, but if you're going to be posing this base mesh and sculpting at the at uh, post, then it's better to have knees. Let's rotate them a bit. And let's move them into the back. Now, you definitely don't have to have a big shape. You just have to be there. Let's scale it. And you can have a small bump on the side. will indicate as well uh, elbow. You can see I have it in the reference images as well, but if you don't want, you don't have to. Now let's go back into the object mode and let's just start making our arm. I mean, hand. Again, the cube, what we're going to do is go into object mode. Don't forget to be in object mode when you're moving it. I'm going to select vertices 
scale it down and scale it on Z. Scale it a bit down again. Go into the side view. We can hide our body to see how thick the arm will be. So I can scale it a bit more. And let's add two loops in here. And let's use and see how it is. Let's use five of subdivisions, apply it. And now we go into the sculpting mode. Let's just shape a bit. So it represents more of our hand. And we have a pretty nice good shape. You can, if you want, make it a bit more detailed and add a bump at the side here and on your thumb. A bit of the smoothing, don't smooth too heavily. Be careful it doesn't affect other sides. And we can start posing our fingers. So fingers are not that hard. Again, the cube. Move it to the side. Let's scale it. Maybe let's hide our top so we can see actually the finger shape. You can see I need to scale it more down. Let's make it a bit longer. And again, two loops. Scale just on Z axis. And again, modifier and apply. And we have our nice sausage finger. Let's go into edit mode, grab tool and sculpting mode, mesh filter. It's a bit too thick. So let's inflate it down. Grab, move it into the position. Let's shift to smooth. And let's go into the object mode. Side view and let's just shift, duplicate them. This one, scale it down. And let's unhide our hand to see what's happening. Definitely forgot the front view. So in the front view, you can see that our smallest fingers goes out. This one goes out a bit too. And this one just a tiny bit. Now we have a bit of shape and form in our fingers. And let's just go into the edit mode. Duplicate one of the fingers. To put it in our thumb. What we can do now is use another cube. This time just a modifier. Edit mode and move it into the place. Let's go into the sculpting mode of our sphere. And position it. Now I can see that that finger is too long 
what we can do is use just the sculpting mode and drag it down. And we have a pretty nice hand. Now what we can do is select everything, Ctrl J to join and use the mirror modifier to have it mirrored. Let's unhide the body. And we have a pretty nice body already. If it's female, you can add a few wrists and that's gonna be it. So again, the cube, five subdivisions and sculpting mode. Let's move it into the position as to scale it down. Side view, move it in position, scale it down, move it in position, grab tool. We definitely missed the front view. If it's hard to see again, let's maybe hide the body. We can scale it down. Let's form. And the side form. Smooth, smooth. And we can use symmetry and symmetrize and unhide the body. If it looks weird, we can do a fit fixes. And we have a pretty nice base mesh. Let's hide our reference images. You can see few imperfections like I can see my nails are a bit pushed. And tweak and fix few imperfections and then when you feel comfortable, create a new collection, select everything, Shift D, and move it into your new collection. Now let's hide everything else. And we can select one and select everything, Ctrl J. We forgot to apply the mirror modifier on our arms, hands. Now we can reselect everything, Ctrl J. And in the sculpting mode, we can add a bit more resolution on our subdivision. Don't forget the self pulse always. And Ctrl R to apply the remesher. I see that I added too little, so I Ctrl back and add more. Don't go too overboard because your PC might explode. Apply it again. And now you can smooth everything and you'll have a perfect base for sculpting your character. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you next time. You never